Hello one and all, this is Luckless Love Locks, and welcome to a post-commentary video, I never do this, on a speedrun I did, uh, I guess it was yesterday, time that I'm recording this, uh, on the huge map, gadgetless start, as you can see, using the artillery dome, the uh, assessor, and the orchard gadget. So I'm just, well, there you go, I could save some time right, right there. Uh, I think my record before was like 20 minutes or something, which I had done uh, earlier on in the day. But the first thing I grab is two, I got grabbed two iron to get another um, sphere. And you don't really need the water and the cobalt right away. So I'm just skipping those, but I can, I can grab them later. It's kind of cool to be watching this after the fact. Just so to, It's also good so I can spot mistakes so that I can maybe fix them. And I'm just, as I'm waiting for those to, to get up, I'm going back to find some more iron as, mu as much as I can. Okay, that I definitely could have improved on that there. And now I'm just trying to go up the middle to keep the uh, middle area clear. I, I As I understand it, you want to get as much iron as possible uh, in the first couple of layers because the more iron you get, the longer the timer is between waves, which is good. And I, I started doing that, like I throw out a, a sphere just as I go in to, to just break down the center line. And I decided to get the strength of the orb and uh, compression mining. And now I'm trying to decide between split sphere and explode sphere. And I think, okay, what was split sphere this time? I think explode sphere might be better for me, but with this one, um, I've kind of been like going in between them. I think, so I think right now I'm trying to find some more iron before I wrap it up. Um, I keep going in between them because I think they're kind of equivalent, but they're like, they're different, right? Like the split sphere I think is good a little bit more generally, especially for finding some resources off to the side because you can go down and then split and see I found that iron on the side, which I probably wouldn't have found I think I was trying to split it again with the um, Explode Sphere. But the Explode Sphere is good at situations like this where you need to dig up a bunch of resources or uh, gadgets. Now, I did a gadgetless start. I, I assume that speedrunning gadgetless meant you didn't get gadgets at all, but I came to learn that uh, it means that you just don't start with a gadget. Gadgets are actually, if you want to get like a world record time, you have to get at least one gadget, and uh, with the consensus right now is uh, I tried to shoot the gadget up and get save some time. Is auto cannon or the um, the teleporter? I think I really saw the strength of the auto cannon in this one, though. Like I just I got um, move the move uh, speed. But my idea was like, I'll just get automation on the auto cannon and like upgrade it once and never go back. And that seemed to work. Now, see, I think getting a really good speed run um, on the huge map, probably in general too, is to kind of be lucky enough to find a lot of iron that spawns in kind of within the screen. Uh, area horizontally, right? Um, down the middle path, because you don't really want to go too far away from the middle path. You want to constantly be moving down uh, while still maintaining um, some amount of like upgrades for digging and, and being able to survive, right? Um, because when you get down to the bottom, if you can't dig well, you just get stuck. So I'm upgrading... Uh, I actually didn't see what I upgraded. <laughs> I think I, I think I probably upgraded some sphere ability. But see, I got, I've got, I got really lucky by finding a bunch of iron on the center path here. Now the one issue with um, that I keep running into is like I get down low, and since I never upgrade the bundle um, lifetime or like the center channel stuff for the assessor. I had to like babysit 
the bundles as I go up. And the further down you go, the more you have to do it. So I don't know if I should get maybe one level, but like it's like one level doesn't really matter because you get far enough down that you need like three levels. So I got the uh, power of the spheres. I got my health just to see what it's at. And then I think this, okay, coming up, I'm probably going to start doing the automated thing if I haven't yet. And I also started like shooting down an orb or sphere as I'm going down. I think the idea would be to like split it as it's coming up as well. And I've kind of started doing this thing where, oh, that's a good split, right? See how I go over to the side? Cause I want to be able to bounce off of blocks up at the top. I don't know if that's a really great way to do it, but see, I did it again and moved over to the side. Although, and there we go. We did, we used the split. I was gonna say I didn't have any spheres, but uh, you can use the split for that. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe split is the way to go. Um, the other thing that I'm kind of monitoring this whole time is where's my, where's the fruit at? Um, because if the fruit's about to pop, it's a good time to go up and bring some resources. Now I think I get, I'm like, oh, I should get autonomy. Cause now I don't have to go back up. Like I can, as long as I don't die, I don't, I, I, I defend it anyways, but. Well, that was, see, I, I could save a, uh, a while there too. I missed, I missed a shot. I could, I could have saved a few seconds. Um, I also am getting good enough with the artillery dome that I can kind of like just know, like I know that it's gonna hit, so I could just shoot and like go off and do something else. And I'm just getting some cobalt in case I need to repair. Um, I think I'm getting this for the, um, first of all, to upgrade fruit. But also we could upgrade the um, auto cannon again. What do I end up getting? Oh yeah, I get the uh, fruit duration. What's nice about the teleporter though over the auto cannon is that you can teleport up and back. So you could, like, if the fruit's ready, you could teleport up, grab it, and then teleport back to where you were. So I, I managed to find some more iron, just kind of trolling around. Oh, that was a mistake right there, if I had waited a little bit. Um, the split was still active, and I shot another orb, so it just split immediately. See, I'm seeing a lot of opportunities to do a better job. Yeah, the teleporter's cool because you get back instantly, so you don't have to worry about being late for a wave. But also, oh, that was another big mistake. I think I decided, oh, maybe I was like digging again because I knew I was gonna go up to like guide this in. But I, I feel like, I feel like I kind of wasted my fruit there. I didn't do a ton of digging, but also um, I didn't want to lose that bundle because so many times when I'm doing these speed runs, I'll shoot resources up and then never I don't, I don't shepherd them up and they just end up falling on my face and then it's just I've wasted a bunch of time so I'm getting some more uh, spheres the one the one thing that really helped me with this run too was uh, I got the uh, sphere power up maxed up pretty fast because if you don't do that and you get to the bottom I was finding like in some other runs, I couldn't like, as you can see here, I'm barely like getting through blocks. And especially when you get another, another great iron spot. Especially when you get to like the relic, the thing that takes the longest in the run is actually getting all the switches for the relic. And that's why the um, explode sphere I, I'm, that's that's where this explodes here really shows, like really shines. It just destroys the um, the relic and uncovers the switches. A little, probably the switches, not so much, but like the relic, it uncovers that really quickly. See, like all these resources, I can't just shoot them up straight like I normally could if I upgraded bundle time. I decided to break that in case I need to bring up more resources. I've got to kind of shepherd it because 
It would it would go through about like the middle, I think, of the second layer. Or maybe the end of the second layer up, but Oof, that was rough too. I think I decided to break that because like, I, like ah, I should probably have some more cobalt. I don't think I needed it though, because I had two already. I'm also like, well, I have I think at some point I was like, I have two cobalt and I'm I don't want to go back to fight enemies. Oh here. I got did I end up getting the improved split? Now I'm trying to decide, like, improve split, another sphere, sphere lifetime. <laughs> and then I'm like, Kine you know, like, let's get kinetic sphere. Because it's a big jump from the second to the third one. I think that decision paid off in the end. I don't know what I'm thinking about here. Oh, yeah, now I'm like, let me just repair. I'll keep it, like, maxed out. So just in case there's some big wave. The auto turret will be able to take care of them. Um, I don't have to worry so much about. So this is uh, so much about like kill it, surviving the wave. This is where like getting the auto turret over the over the um, teleporter doesn't pay off. It takes forever to come down. You can see I'm I'm digging a lot better now than I was before. Uh, but I mean, if you could get, I think if you could get the teleporter and the uh, I don't know you'd have to spend a lot of time finding that gadget but if you could get the teleporter and the auto turret that could maybe be really good I stumbled upon some more iron there which is awesome but now I'm like you know what maybe I could just like rush to find the relic Because I know the auto turret's gonna take care of the wave. But then I think I'm also I'm also thinking to myself, you know, it's still taking me a while to dig this stuff, and I see I run out of orbs as well. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should do one more round of iron. But this was really slow, and then I'm like, oh shit! There's one of the switches. Maybe I should just go for it. So now I think I'm just debating in my head, like, should I go for it? Or maybe I should get one more round of iron because just spending that time getting the iron and improving my digging is probably going to be a net like benefit for my time. Because I'll just be able to dig this. You're getting into the really thick stuff. But I don't know. Maybe maybe this was a mistake. Because this takes a while to do. Oh, maybe I, sh I think I should have gone across there. Because I ended up digging anyways. But I think this is where I lost a lot of my time. Should have dug. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Managed to save that one. Like, I think I was down there at nine minutes. Let's see how long it takes. Um, the world record was like 15 minutes and something. Now, I also make another, I think, big mistake coming up. Because I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to make a push to get the relic on this next turn. I'm like, okay, if I'm going to get the relic, I look at that sphere base damage difference. It's like more than doubling. And I'm, I'm trying to calculate, oh, can I have enough? Do I have, do I have enough? I'm like, yeah. And now I'm like, hmm, okay, if I'm going to go for the relic on this run, I think I might get some more health. And I end up, I think this is a mistake, because you want, you want to not, like, just barely survive at the, like, you want to uh, have a, a small amount of health as possible at the end so that the wave will 
kill your dome as fast as possible. I just learned about a trick though. If you kill the last enemy of a wave within three seconds of bringing the relic into your base, it skips the final wave. So um, that would, knowing that would save, it saves only like 25 seconds. Knowing that I would have uh, done things differently. But I, what I was worried about is I kind of wanted to get a time up because I, I tried a few attempts at this. And so I was just like, I just really don't want to die. And we're doing well here. I want to put a time on the, like a, a, a better time on the uh, leaderboard. I actually find that really quickly too. Like the, the cables aren't that long. And now I'm like full like, holy shit, holy shit. If I do this fast enough, I might be able to beat the world record. I don't know why I went that way. And now I'm like, wow, yeah, maybe I could beat the world record. Cause it's like. It's, it's pretty close. Not, I feel like, yeah, I'm not quite digging fast enough though. At this point I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna get like 15, 16 seconds or 15, 16 minutes. But it's pretty freaking close, right? I'm at 13.11. And I have one more switch to get, I think. But I couldn't quite see where the um, cable is. And then I spot it there, I think. And I'm like, oh, damn, I shot it in the wrong spot. Oh, there's two. That's right, there's two there. I couldn't quite tell. I'm kind of I'm kind of floundering here, I'd say. Because I don't, I also don't have the fruits anymore. And there's a lot of digging power in that. And now we're into the thick stuff too. Oh, I should have split there. I've got to find the last one, but it's to the left. I thought it was above. Oh, there's like a few seconds I think I could have saved if I had gone down. Actually, no, I wanted to bounce off there. I missed a split there. And there it is. Now I just need to uncover that and get it up. And now I'm kind of like, oh my god, I might, this time is really good. But the other thing I'm realizing is, I, I guess I got the pause timing wrong on that, is I built myself a massive <laughs> maze to go through to get back. Uh, I did remember not to go up there, at least. But it's a bit of a mess. And now I'm thinking to myself, I've seen this technique where you can keep the relic above you. You have to like hit, like grab and shoot at the same time or something. So I was just like, well, how far can I shoot it? Maybe I could just shoot it up and then catch up to it like other bundles. But, uh, but no. And now I'm like so happy that I put together a pretty good time pause it to skip the animation but i now i guess i guess i yeah i didn't know about that trick but if you think about it like i would have been done like now if i had just uh if i'd known about that trick also i have all that extra health you can see how much time it adds Like, I think I would have been dead now. So I added about five seconds, I think. And that's it, guys. That is my huge uh, gadgetless start speed run on normal difficulty. At uh, my time was 16, 10, 140 milliseconds. Thank you guys for watching.